What's up you guys? I'm finally making this video. I was supposed to start this video in the beginning of December, but I had a very bad cold. Like I could barely talk. Like that's why I haven't really been making any videos. So, I'm going to show my whole entire collection, A through Z including the um what I call themed um albums like comedy, um uh musical albums, um, soundtracks, or, and holiday albums. So I thought since it's so close to the holidays, I thought I would start with that. So, and these are not in order. The ones that are in like my A through Z, I try to get those as ordered as possible, but not for these. So here, let's begin. This is my first video doing this, so I don't really know what to do. So sorry. If uh, this is dragged on a little bit, this is uh, Glen Campbell Christmas with Glen Campbell. I actually got this at Goodwill for like a buck. It's still in the shrink wrap. Let's see, look at that. Ah, uh, this is um, I released 1972, I believe, 1971. Um, and it is on an album that uh, on a label that I didn't really know. Uh, it is on Creative Products and also Capital. But I thought I like Glenn Campbell, so I thought why not? Um, yeah, and I like the cover. It's clean and it's and that. This next album I got actually in the beginning of the year. Um, Jackson Five Christmas album. Isn't that a cool album? I've never seen this album before. Uh, I didn't even know they did a Christmas album because I because I know uh, their Michael Jackson was back then a Jehovah's Witness. Um, but I once I saw it, I immediately picked it up. I only got this for a couple bucks too. Uh, it's not the original pressing. It's from 1982. The original pressing was from uh, 1970, so this is a reissue uh, U.S. pressing. It's on Motown, obviously, but I think it's just cool because it, it has all these awesome Christmas songs on it, and you know, you gotta love the Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson, whether you like him or hate him personally, uh, as a person, you gotta love, he, he was a musical genius and everything, so yeah. So next album, I'm pretty sure your parents had it, maybe you have it too, I'm not a percent sure. But Firestone on your Christmas album, your Christmas favorites, volume three. I'm pretty sure your parents had one, at least one of these. Because everybody had them, I think. Um, I've never listened to this because this is actually belongs to uh, my father that gave me some of his records. And I got it in the middle of July. So, and you can, and you can but... I'd rather not. This is on Firestone, and I really think it's a cool label. Look at that green label. Now, I think that's how Christmas should be. Uh, green or red, maybe one side red and one side green. I think that would be kind of cool for Christmas. Um, so, yeah. Volume 3. And I also like how it says Collector's uh, Album Custom Recording, which means it's not that valuable. Because anything that's, that's specifically said, collector, you know, it ain't that. Uh, this one I've never heard. I've heard of this artist, but I've never listened to this album. Uh, Seasons Greetings, Perry Como. Still in the shrink wrap. RCA Victor. But, um, I don't know. I, I haven't listened to this, so if it's good, it's good. And... Unfortunately, my album, my uh, record player is broken. Like here, it's not broken. It's just you know, the uh, it has a built-in speaker in it. And I think it's from like the seventies, um, and it is just slowly and slowly getting softer. So I can't really listen to music on it. Um, so unfortunately, I can't do that. Um, so this next one, I, once again, I haven't listened to this. Uh, a Christmas music festival. This says I don't know who it has. Um, 
Bing Crosby on it, Glenn Campbell, The Letterman, Dean Martin, Tennessee, Ernie Ford, Lou Rawls, Al Martino, and Sandler and Young. I just kept this because of Glenn Campbell. But Bing Crosby should be good too. Uh, Bing Crosby sings, what does he sing? Uh, do you want to hear what I hear? And uh, Glenn Campbell sing Silent Night, which he also sings, I believe, on this album. Let's see. Silent Night. Seven. Yep. Also sings right on there. So I get two versions of that, maybe. And this last album in the, in the um, holiday album is not a Christmas album. The Monster Mash. The Sounds of Terror. I actually listened to this around Halloween time. Uh, the Mummy's Revenge, Jack the Ripper, um, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Um, and it just and it has the Monster Mash on it as well. There's the cool label. I thought that was kind of cool. It's a pretty clean cover, too. Um, I think this is from the 80s. No, 1974. So that's kind of cool. So, yeah, so that's all of the, my uh, holiday albums. Give me a quick moment and I'll grab my uh, comedy ones and, and we'll begin. Okay, so I am here with my comedy albums. The first one is I saw this and I immediately wanted to get it. I didn't care how much it was. Gallagher. His album. Now, the reason why I got this is because my father actually showed me a comedy video of Gallagher, uh, a DVD, uh, yeah, DVD, and it actually had this album in it. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, I haven't listened to this all the way, but it is pretty cool. Gallagher is a pretty funny person. If you haven't, if you're younger than most of the VC out there, go look him up on YouTube. He's pretty good. Uh, Steve Martin album. Look at that. Isn't that kind of cool? And then that's the... And that's the back cover I just realized. But, no, maybe. I don't know. And then there's... I don't know whether that's the front or the back. I don't know. But uh this is the Steve Martin brothers. Yeah, I don't know. There's that. I think that's kinda cool. It is on uh Warner Brothers, so I'm not really gonna show you that. Another Steve Martin album. A wild and crazy night. And it's a gatefold. This is also, uh, I believe, from SNL. Because, um, oh, never mind. He sang this on SNL. Uh, but oh well. It's kind of cool. Another Steve Martin. Comedy it is not pretty. I just think it's funny to cover it anyway. Look at that. And it's also a gay phone. Got a weird fucking clown. Here's that. And on the other side. That. Now these next two. I don't know. If you guys still like this person, but Bill Cosby, he's in the headlines for, you know, this is uh, himself. I like Bill Cosby, he's funny. Love him or hate him, he's funny. You gotta, you gotta admit, he's pretty damn funny, especially on the Cosby show. And then, Bill Cosby, wonderful us. Look at that, isn't that kind of cool? This is from, I don't know, I don't know, 
next time I'll, and I'll do a little bit of research, I hope. This next album I actually played during when this person died. Robin Williams. This is my only one. Real reality, what a concept. And it's and I like how in the corner it says, please note that certain words in this album might be considered unobjectable by parents of children under sixteen. But um yeah, uh I played this uh in my tribute sort of I don't uh sort of like a tribute video to Robin Williams and I've never really listened to that album before, but everybody was laughing in that in that. And it's sad because you know you know that that he must have been hurting so much at throughout his whole entire life. So that's sad. Um, this next album I actually got from my dad as well. The First Family. Uh, featuring Vaughn Meter. Um, I like this. It's pretty funny. I don't get any of the any of the damn references in it, but I still like it. It's funny. Print in the USA. So yeah. Let's see. Then if you give me a second, I will get my the yeah, um movies. So here that is. These are not in order, like I said in the beginning. My A through Z ones will be in order. Um Walt Disney, Mary Poppins. Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Look at that. A little bit dirty, but it's fine. Gatefold. I believe it is on, what is it on? RCA Victor. Um, you gotta have Mary Poppins in your, in your collection. You just gotta. This next album, I got it because I like the artist that did the music. I don't personally like the songs on it. Elton John, Friends. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this album or if you've probably seen it. I don't know. It's an okay. This is before he became big, 1971. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this is on Paramount. This next album, I actually went to Goodwill yesterday, and I actually saw the VHS tape for this, but I didn't get it, because I didn't want it. The Big Chill. And I'm keeping this album, because there's so many good names on, uh, there's so many good artists on here. Uh, like Marvin Gaye, I Heard It Through the Grapevine, The Temptations, My Girl, The Rascals, Good Lovin', uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, The Tracks of My Tears. Joy to the World, Three Dog Night, uh, Ain't Too Proud to Beg, Temptations, Aretha Franklin's on here, uh, and that's the only names that I recognize. This is once again on Motown. This next album I've never heard of, never seen the movie, but I'm hoping that it'll sound good because I really like the cover. Jimmy Cliff. And the harder they come. Look at that. Isn't that nice? This is seventies. At least I think it is. This could be yeah, I think this is seventies. This is on um what is this on? Mang Monko. Mon Monko. Kind of cool album, label. This next album I actually love the music too. I got a Goodwill. I think this is one of the first albums that I got when I, way before I was into, into uh, records. I got a Goodwill. West Side Story. Look at that. And it's in pretty good damn shape. Look at that. Pretty good damn shape. 
and I don't and I don't believe this is the first pressing. But um, uh, everybody I I think would have this album. Saturday Night Fever. John Travolta I think in this. I've never really seen the movie. And I'm gonna get hounded on that. I know. Um, you got the Bee Gees doing the music. You know it's gonna be good because the Bee Gees were the, one of the hottest things uh, at the time. Look at that nice album. It's a gatefold, but I don't really want to uh, screw it. So yeah, I gotta get new bags. I gotta get more actually, not new ones. Because uh, in later videos, you'll see that some of my albums do have bags in them, some of them don't. Because I put all the albums that I knew I want, and I did bags, in bags, and there we go. Yeah. Every time when I'm making a video, the album won't go back in the bag easily. Has, has that ever happened to you? Uh, this next album I have is actually really cool. Casino Royale, 007. M music by Burt Bacharach. Look at that. Nice album art. And the cool thing is, it's done in the shrink wrap. This is the first pressing, I believe, of this album. Anyway, 1967, I think. No, I don't know if this is the first pressing. It's from 1967. I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, the Sound of Music. Everybody needs to have this. You got, uh, I Have Confidence, 16 Going on 17, My Favorite Things, Climb Every Mountain. So many good songs. And that's just the first side. This next album, I don't have, I've never listened to, but I only kept it because of one song on here. King Kong, and, and themes from King Kong and other movie greats. Look at that one on the right side. Gotta Fly Now by Rocky. It's the one I, I thought. Uh, let's see. Inspector Clouseau theme, the pink strikes again. Um, so yeah. This is on Pickwick. Everybody knows what song this movie soundtrack has. The Graduate. With Dustin Hoffman. I think that's kind of cool. I got this album for free. Um, Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, so yeah. That's my all of my. Um, themed. Uh, albums. Comedy. The, uh, holiday. And soundtrack albums. So, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to make my A through C, or at least partial A through my C, um, right now. So, I'll be posting this album, this video up on YouTube right now. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.